Welcome to a thrilling 48 hour adventure filled with wilderness, delicious cuisine and the joy of camping in the largest forest in the UK. In this captivating video we will embark on a journey that combines the thrill of camping with the joy of culinary exploration. Our goal? To immerse ourselves in the wilderness, embracing the beauty that surrounds us while forging new friendships with the charming residents of this breathtaking landscape. So let's get into the video. Hello sir. Hello. This was day one of our trip. So my journey started in South London, met Oz in Oxford and we were en route to the beautiful Scotland. Scotland! After Oz drove for seven hours straight all the way to Scotland, we finally made it to the campsite near Galloway Forest. The views were absolutely incredible. The first step was setting up the tent and unloading all our equipment and this took absolutely forever literally took about two and a half to three hours to set up the whole thing so we both actually brought two separate tents mine was not inflatable oz's he was telling me it was inflatable so i was like okay you know what he told me it takes 10 minutes to set up let's just do this but little did i know we had to pump the whole thing up with a foot pump so we were there for like three hours pumping pegging pumping pegging Pumping, picking. So what should have taken about 30 minutes ended up taking three hours worth of trial and error because of all the mathematical equations we had to derive in the process. As you can see, tent is complete. And there it was, the finished product, MTV Cribs. Let's go, listen. This is the little setup we had going on, very nice. So after all of that high intensity labor, we decided to feast on some sandwiches. It was called the Cubano sandwich. And bro, just have a look at that cross section, incredible. And that marked the end of day one. Okay, so day two was actually quite interesting. We decided to fish and Oz, he's told me that he's fished in the past before, right? So he's been fishing for about four, <laughs> four years of his life and I was pretty convinced. I was looking forward to it. I was like, okay, you know what? We might actually potentially find something here. And then this guy has the audacity to tell me in the four years that he's fished, he's never caught a fish. So I was just like, you know what, bro? The chances of us actually catching something is gonna be zero. And bear in mind, I had no experience of fishing. So like, it was a lost cause. So the only thing we could do was go to the local fishmonger and actually grab ourselves a fish. Like that was our only chance of actually catching something. So that's exactly what we did. See guys, sometimes in life, you need to work smart, not hard. And this is a perfect example of that. Came back home, Oz patterned his knife skills on the fish. I think it's called filleting. I'm not too sure, don't quote me on that. But yeah, he did his magic, seasoned it up, made it look beautiful, and then we feasted on some incredible rainbow trout. What do you think? Mm. Banging in it. Mm. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice. So after indulging in some incredible protein, what we decided to do was actually pay our little duck friends a visit. We decided to feed them, but feeding them was actually part of a greater plan. Our plan was to get these ducks at a point where they were so morbidly obese that they couldn't properly move or swim. And that way we could catch, cook, and eat some incredible duck. But unfortunately, the ducks were actually a lot more intelligent than we thought, and they caught onto our plan. With no other option, we decided to chef up some paella instead. So paella is actually Spain's national dish and that is why we decided to cook it. There will be a separate video uploaded as well. It'll be a longer video. This is just a little sneak preview. As you can see, Oz is just showing off his chef skills. This is what over four years in the kitchen actually gets you. We decided to chef it up looked incredible, slapped all the ingredients in, and I'll be honest, I did like 10% of the cooking, Oz did like 90% of it. We worked to our strengths, he was the chef, and I was the eater. So the last time I actually had paella was a Sainsbury's ready meal, like two years ago, and I did not enjoy that, but this was a thousand times better than that. I expected nothing less from Oz, incredible cooking. This video was taken at around 7 p.m., and every 7 p.m. there'll be a swarm of flies and they just would not leave. Like, they'll just keep biting you. They just won't leave you alone, as you can see in the video, like, they're just everywhere. So after that we decided to set up a nice little campfire because the sun started to set. We set up in this nice little slender man looking forest. That was the end of day two. Okay so this was day three, the final day. What an emotional roller coaster of a trip this has been. So we started the day off at Sainsbury's, gathered our ingredients and we decided to chef up some incredible burritos. So as you can see I was just marinating the chicken. We had our ingredients ready. We had rice, salsa, guacamole, sour cream, seasoned chicken, cheese, beans. And we just slapped it all together and created a beautiful specimen of a burrito. 
So after inhaling about three to four burritos each, we decided to pack up, pack up our tents, say goodbye to everything. And most importantly, we had to say goodbye to our newfound friends. It was quite the emotional goodbye because over the past 48 hours, we had developed such a strong bond with them, although we communicated in two different ways. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please like and subscribe. But yeah, I'll catch you in the next video.